Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to review the watercolor sketchbooks from St. Louis Art Supply, an art shop based in St. Louis, Missouri, USA. These are actually sample sketchbooks I received from them. I'm not sure if they ship overseas though. Anyway, for US customers, they do provide free shipping for purchases above 59 US dollars. So here I have three out of the several sketchbooks that they make and these are all handmade by the way the sketchbooks are available in different sizes and most of them come with watercolor paper either from Stonehenge or Fabriano so the quality of the watercolor paper is going to be good this wire binding is really nice and note the cover it's hard paper it's not hard cover and you can actually fold this to the back so this thin soft cover really makes the sketchbook look and feel very compact this is quite unusual in the sense that most wirebound sketchbooks actually use hard cover so you can see this sketchbook is much thicker because of the hard cover and also with wirebound sketchbooks like this the wire is most of the time exposed whereas for this sketchbook from St. Louis Art Supply you can actually have the cover go on top and it will cover uh, much of the binding only exposing this side and this is very nice I am not a big fan of wirebound sketchbooks because of the exposed wire if I have this in my bag, chances are the wire will be entangled or hooked onto something and the wires are easy to bend because these wires are not that thick and if I have multiple sketchbooks with wire binding um, it's difficult to have them all together because the wire binding will get in the way so this design by St. Louis Art Supply, this is actually quite smart from what I've read on their website this design was inspired by Japanese crow quill books and as you can see this wire it's quite thick um, I'm applying a lot of force now and I am not able to bend it so that's fantastic the edges have rounded corners and since this is just hard paper chances are the corners will wear out if you put the sketchbook in your bag and take it out too many times and also because this is paper if you keep folding the paper I mean with paper if you keep folding the paper the edge will become weaker and weaker so I'm not sure how durable or how well this cover will hold up uh, if you fold it too many times now the main advantage of using a wirebound sketchbook is it's compact you get to fold the pages um, to the back to make it very compact and this is also I would say the downside of a wirebound sketchbook um, you won't be able to draw across two pages so different sketchbooks for different uh, purposes if you prefer a more compact sketchbook wirebound sketchbooks are fantastic it allows you to hold a sketchbook very easily with one hand like this whereas if you have a landscape sketchbook something like this for example if you want to draw across two pages um, and hold it with your hand while you are drawing and painting it's um, not as easy to balance properly one of the main selling points is definitely the wire binding with a cover that actually covers the wire binding the second selling point is some of the sketchbooks come with the option of hot press watercolor paper so sketchbooks that come with hot press watercolor paper are incredibly rare so it's great that St. Louis Art Supply they actually do make uh, these sketchbooks so this particular one is model um, 502 uh, you can't see it but the model number is actually stamped onto the back so this comes with Fabriano Artistico hot press watercolor paper 300 GSM 100% cotton so the quality is as you would expect from Fabriano there are 25 sheets of paper and they flip really easily as with um, my bound sketchbooks on the first page you can write your contact info and that's their website 
So I've used a few pages from this sketchbook. This sketchbook uses cold press watercolor paper with 25% cotton. And I have used pen and ink with this sketchbook. Uh, pen and ink actually works quite well on cold press paper as well although pen and ink will work better on smoother hot press paper so it's going to be easier for you to create textures and granulation on cold press paper and you can see the texture of the paper it's very nice i love this granulation this color is soda light genuine which is a paint that granulates a lot the colors do appear quite vibrant on this paper and the paper is considered uh, bright white. You can either draw and paint on one side of the paper or you can use both sides of the paper. It's really up to you. But one thing about the wire binding is when it comes to scanning the sketchbook, with certain scanners, they actually um, require you to have the paper surface in contact with the glass so that the scanned image can be sharp. So with wire binding, you can see here um, this area. Even if you have the sketchbook pushed down hard on the scanner, this wire will prevent this side of the paper from being in contact with the glass of the scanner. So for example, with this particular sketch, if I were to scan it with my scanner, this area here will be blurred. So if you want to scan your art, I do recommend you draw and paint further away from the wire binding so that it's easier for you to scan your art properly. All right, let me show you how the colors blend on this paper. I'm not exactly sure what Fabriano paper this is, probably Fabriano Studio because it's mentioned that this paper uses 25% cotton and Fabriano Studio paper uses 25% cotton. When it comes to blending color, it's going to be easier on 100% cotton paper. Okay, here it's actually not bad. With some work, I can still get the colors to blend softly. With certain watercolor paper, um, if you were to draw like a horizontal stroke and have the water flow down, you can still see the horizontal stroke very obviously because the paper doesn't blend the colors that easily. You have to go in and move the paint around, which is what I'm doing right here. Um, you shouldn't do this because, well, it's going to mess up the wash but here earlier, uh, I was able to blend the colors quite nicely. And here as well, you can see some nice color blending. So this paper um, seems to work well enough for wet on wet. So the paper will buckle if you use a lot of water. But anyway, when it's dry, you can press this page down very easily. I'm not sure about Fabriano Studio or Stonehenge watercolor paper, but for Fabriano Artistic Go, the paper is sized internally and externally using gelatin free sizing. So Fabriano Artistic Co. does not contain animal products. So it's considered a vegan product, vegan paper. Paper options may not be available for different sketchbook sizes. So for example, with this portrait format sketchbook, this is available with hot press watercolor paper. But for this landscape format sketchbook, you cannot get hot press with this. This is only cold press. And at the time of this video, there is no landscape hot press watercolor sketchbook from St. Louis Art Supply. So if you do want to draw and paint in the horizontal or landscape orientation, um, you can get a portrait sketchbook like this and just use it like this in the horizontal orientation. Let's talk about pricing. I'm just going to talk about this three. You can check out the pricing for other sketchbooks on their website. Now each sketchbook has 25 pieces of paper. So that's like 50 pages if you use both sides. So for this 
sketchbook which is slightly smaller than A5 size it uses 25% cotton paper this is priced at 17 US dollars rounded up and this larger sketchbook also uses 25% cotton this is priced at 23 US dollars this sketchbook which is smaller than this is actually more expensive this is priced at let me take a look 29 US dollars so this is six dollars more compared to this even though this sketchbook is smaller but it's more expensive because this is 100% cotton watercolor paper with watercolor paper you do get what you pay for high quality watercolor paper is going to be more expensive so um, if you divide the price of the sketchbook with the number of pages each piece of paper here is actually slightly more than a dollar oh they actually have the Fabriano imprint here on this paper um, anyway the quality of the paper that you get from this sketchbook is definitely going to be better compared to um, the Moleskin watercolor sketchbooks, Pentalic, um, Hanamule, Handbook, um, because I mean, Fabriano watercolor paper is, is good. These sketchbooks from St. Louis Art Supply, in my opinion, are for people who prefer compact sketchbooks because with this wire binding it allows you to fold a sketchbook like this so you can hold the sketchbook very easily with one hand so if you are standing and sketching it's going to be easier to use this sketchbook compared to a hardcover sketchbook that opens like this if you want to attach a watercolor palette to this sketchbook well i guess you can um, this is the micro portable painter usually i would attach it to this side of the sketchbook when I'm using the hardcover sketchbooks but um, I won't be able to clip it here because of this extension so in this case I would probably have to move it here and then clip it here like this make sure to buy a big clip so that you don't damage the wire binding here so this will allow me to paint while I'm standing all right, if you guys have any questions regarding these sketchbooks, let me know in the comment section below. I hope this review is helpful. See you again. Bye.